massive skulls. Now, they found giants in Russia, like the Bible says. They also found hobbit or smaller humans on the isolated island. But they don't know how they even got there. If they were created there, though, scientists, would that explain it? Or the flood? Right. I don't know. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Right. The needs of it. Right. Evidence of the bones and the teeth that have been found not only at the Denisova cave in Siberia, the this but also over. a huge jawbone was found in a cave on the Tibetan plateau. There is every indication that giants really did walk the earth in ancient times. Now, the thing is. And I keep telling you this too. Moses is in Egypt. 3,500 years ago when he writes the Bible. It's based on what he learned in Egypt, but also what the Israelites told him about their own belief in God. See, see. And whatever Moses is writing, whether it's the law, whether it's this, or it's that, all of this is influenced by human history, too. Right. And Moses could have also heard of the Epic of Gilgamesh, right? In Egypt. In Egypt. <laughs> that was contemporary to them, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> We're digging this stuff up and finding it in archaeology sites, right? right. Where archaeologists go, right? They're finding all this. Right? <laughs> you are dumb. <laughs> no. Not just because you won't say the truth. You won't research the truth, right? You follow people blindly. Right. But Jesus warned, if the blind lead the blind, they'll both fall into a pit, right? You can see, but still be not willing to see something, right? Don't mean you're literally blind either, right? Now, I could probably, though, explain this to a blind person easier than you, right? <laughs> In a way, too. Whether the person can see after I tell them or not is a relevant. It's the story itself that's relevant, right? I didn't write it either, either. But I did read what they said about it and then reread the Bible with an open mind, right? And saw, wait a minute, Job said God is not a man as I am. I do know what that means. Do you? <laughs> yeah. One was made in the image of God. Uh, only one. Only one. <laughs> Until Christ came. <laughs> That's why he's the second man. <laughs> of two men. <laughs> right. See, I can only tell you something. But if you're prejudiced, blind, dumb and won't hear it, I'm not judging you for telling you, right? 
But you're not being smart for not listening. I know. You're being a jerk <laughs> for not listening. Right. You're judging me prejudicely. Right. And I don't know you. <laughs> you're looking at me as not who I am or was or am to come. Mm-hmm. But based on a prejudice idea oh, no. of someone who knows of me too, like you do, oh, no. but really don't. Like you don't. <laughs> really know me, you don't know. Right. Not only because of the fossil evidence, but also because legends of extraordinarily large beings have persisted for thousands of years. Right. In the European tradition, we have uh, creatures like giants that are very, very widespread. We know now that folk are cannons, thousands of years. So, the ancient people have encountered Denisovans and they interpret them as giants, the sort of brutish, living differently from us, but still able to uh, interact with us. Or maybe they dug up some bones and stumbled across them and said, wow, these guys are really different than we do. I think you remember the story. I'm sure there are other archaic versions of humanity out there that we have not... And yet. God made them all, scientists! So I think beginning... Because see... <clears throat> if Adam is the name yet. even them, right? Yeah, it is me. In the beginning, in the beginning, which ain't the same if you're replenishing the planet, right? Could be four billion years ago, I don't know, right? You don't know either. We live, we die, we born, we die. <laughs> Even Jesus thought was said he was resurrected, right. was killed right. by a Roman lance at least, if you don't want to believe he died of the crucifixion. <laughs> That's up to you. But I can show you something and you want to bother me about it. Right? But I don't mind a discussion. Right? But I don't like your prejudice. Right? And I don't have to. Right? I can just tell you I disagree with you. Right? Now I'm not trying to hurt you like the alien and men in black three either. Right? <laughs> Or do anything with you you don't really want to do. <laughs> and even if you did it once, you ain't got to do it again. <laughs> but don't be a jerk about it and try to black me out <laughs> at the last second either. <laughs> All you did was ban me from your store, idiot. <laughs> but I just don't know why. I know. <laughs> Nor do they really, but it's your store. <laughs> you can ban anyone <laughs> for any reason if you pretend I'm doing something wrong myself and I'm going to question that if I know I didn't. <laughs> Well, what did I do wrong? Have sex with someone in the bathroom? <laughs> I mean, you gotta tell them something. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, anyway. And see, we don't know it all, scientists, nor do you, doctors. It's called learning as you go along. Right? Right? <laughs> that starts out gradual. <laughs> Little steps to bigger steps, right? Right. But you still don't know everything, right? If you're just looking at us and how we die. <laughs> right. If only one man was resurrected from the dead that we know of, right? 
or who's admitted the resurrected, then his contemporaries are our problem. <laughs> right, right. Those who were around him as much believed in him as they didn't. Right. <laughs> Two. They want to make it all about Israel. It was never Peter all about Israel. 